Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and as expected, a lot of you were curious about the Kangaroo Mini PC. We'll probably be having a couple of follow-up videos to come on this product, but today what we're going to look at is in-home game streaming, both with the Xbox One as well as Steam. So you get a good feel as to how this might work, because uh, really this only costs $50 more uh, than the $50 Steam Link. So for $100, you get a computer and a game streaming device. It's amazing how many choices we have now. So uh, we're going to give this a shot. I got the new wireless Xbox One dongle attached to this thing. Uh, so we're going to try out those two things over Wi-Fi also. I've got 5 gigahertz AC Wi-Fi. The router is all the way in the basement, so we'll get a good feel as to how this might work uh, in a typical home environment. So this will be very instructive for a couple of different areas. So let's get to it and see how it performs. All right, so we're going to get started here with the next car game, Wreckfest, so you can get a feel for how everything feels. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of lag. It looks pretty good. It's holding up pretty well. I did decide to leave the Steam settings uh, on their automatic settings, so it looks like there's a little bit of uh, artifacting going on here, but uh, it doesn't look too bad overall. And again, this is over AC wireless, so I think if you're closer to your access point, uh, you will probably get a better experience, but it does look pretty nice, I have to say. And it's pretty fun to be able to play this on a very inexpensive PC. So it really is doing quite well. We've seen it do this well uh, on other Atom chips also. And we are running with the newer Atom chip here, which has a little bit better video performance. And this, you know, when you do this game streaming, it's almost like playing a video more so than it is playing a game. And that's something these Intel chips have been really tuned for, uh, is this kind of video decoding. Oh, there's a little lag there. So it looks like there's a couple little glitches here. I think that's a Wi-Fi related problem. And maybe we'll try it on Ethernet in a future video to see if that makes a difference. But uh, overall, I think if you get your wireless in the right spot, uh, it should work pretty well. But a, a USB to Ethernet adapter is probably uh, your best pick. So let's see how the Xbox fares now. All right, so we've got our Xbox One hooked up here, and we're uh, running this via Wi-Fi. It actually is feeling pretty good. The latency is getting better on the Xbox One in-home streaming as well. And what I did on this one is I turned it up to the very high quality. They don't have kind of an adjustable uh, quality level like Steam does. So I figured I would try the highest and see how it ends up here. But this is a good game to test because you will see the artifacts uh, very clearly with all the particle effects going on here, especially all, also with all the motion as well. Uh, so what I'll do here is pull up the statistics so you can kind of see what we're uh, looking at for uh, bandwidth and everything. And uh, there you go. So we're going to have about 11 megabits per second or so here, 12 megabits right now. Uh, so you can get a feel for what we're pushing over the AC network. And again, not bad uh, considering that the wireless router that I'm connecting to is all the way in the basement. So it actually is uh, running pretty well here. So I think this uh, really does demonstrate that uh, the Kangaroo PC can work very well as a game streaming device. The latency is minimal. Uh, there is a little bit more lag on the Xbox streaming than there is with Steam. And I think it's just uh, the nature of the beast, so to speak because uh, on the Steam side, at least, I'm running with a more powerful gaming PC that might be able to you know, do this streaming thing better, perhaps, than the Xbox One can. But uh, overall, I have to say, this is actually a very good streaming experience and certainly a very good choice if you want to be able to Steam, uh, st stream Steam and uh, be able to do your Xbox One uh, to a remote TV in your house somewhere on your network. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.